Hello, my first graders. We are on lesson 5.10 in our math book. That's lesson 300. That's page 309 in your math book. Okay, so you want to find that page. The other thing you want to find is your number line. You want to make sure you have your number line because you will need it for our, our practice today. You also might need a piece of paper um, to use a scrap paper. So you want to do those things before you hit play. Okay, so you're going to pause. You're finding 5.10, lesson three, page 309, and you want to find your number line. When you found those things, hit play so you're ready for our lesson today. Okay, my first graders, if you're hitting play, that means you have your number line, you have maybe a piece of paper that you can write on, scrap paper you can write on, and you have our our book open to page 309. So today we're going to be looking again at addition and subtraction and thinking about different strategies we've learned to help us find our answer. There's a lot of practice that you'll be doing on your own today because we've already learned these skills and now it's your turn to just practice them. So we're going to start off together and then you'll spend some time working on your own. So it says, what is two plus eight? Draw to show a strategy you can use to solve. So they asked us to draw a picture to solve two plus eight. So let's draw our picture. How many circles do we make first? Two. How many more circles do we make? Eight. How many do we have all together? Well, we can count them all. Go ahead and count them all. What did you get? 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10. Now, we learned that we can draw circles to find our answer, haven't we? But we also have learned that we can do other strategies. Like, we could have put these 8 in our head and counted on two more, eight, nine, 10. That would have helped us as well. So we've learned different ways to find our answer. So let's, when you're ready, turn to the next page. Okay, as you can see, when you turn the page, there are a lot of problems on these pages. So again, today is a lot of practicing what we've learned. So over here, Okay. They want us to see that if we had the problem 4 plus something equals 10, we could use the minus problem to help us solve. Now, as you can see from here, they don't give us a lot of room. That's why we need that scrap paper so we can work on our problems, okay? Sometimes it's good to have a blank piece of paper so you can write things out as we go. So they turned this problem into a minus problem. Instead of four plus something equals 10, 10 minus four equals six. So we were able to turn this problem with the missing number into a related fact. So let's take a look. We are going to do some of this together and some you're going to do on your own. So. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're just going to do this first column together. I have my scrap piece of paper in case I need it because there might be a missing number problem that I want to rewrite to help me solve. So let's look at the first one, two plus five. Okay. I can solve that. Can I, could I put five, five in my head and two on my fingers? I could. I could put five in my head and draw two so I can count on that way. Or maybe I want to use my piece of paper to draw out all of my circles. Well, I'm going to practice counting on this way. Five, six, seven. So two plus five equals seven. And that's all I need to do is write my answer. They just want you to practice adding and subtracting today. Fifteen 
minus 7. So I have to make sure I'm paying attention to my sign. One of the ways to do that is to say the problem so we know what we're doing. It's minus, so I'm going to use my number line. Remember I said get, find your number line or make a new one. So 15 minus 7. Here's my 15. I'm going to take 7 hops back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven. I landed on eight. So I'm going to fill in my number eight. Okay. Two plus something equals 11. Hey, that's not an easy one, is it? I have a missing number. So can I take this plus problem and turn it into a related minus problem? Yes, I can. I have my big number. So I'm going to make it on my scrap paper. I'm going to write a new problem. 11 oh, minus 2 equals. Okay, I turned it into a related minus fact. Instead of 2 plus something equals 11, 11 minus 2. I can use my number line to help me. Here's 11, 2 hops back. 1, 2. Where did I land? 9. 11 minus 2 equals 9. So my missing number is 9. Okay. 12 minus 9. That's a regular problem. I can use my number line again for that. Here's 12. I'm going to take 9 hops back. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Where did I land? 3. 12 minus 9 equals 3. All right. Let's look at the next one going down. Something plus 8 equals 13. Hey, that's not an easy one. Missing number in the middle, right? Can I turn my plus problem into a related minus problem? Yes, I can. Here's my big number, 13 minus 8 equals blank. Okay, here's 13, take 8 hops back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Where did I land? 5. Okay, so 13 minus 8 equals 5. So my missing number is 5. See how the scrap paper is helping me? 16 minus 7. That's a normal problem. I can use my number line. Here's 16 minus 7. So I'm going to take 7 hops back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Where do I land? 9. 16 minus 7 equals 9. All right. So, boys and girls, we did this column. Notice how I used my number line if I needed to. Okay. I filled in my missing number. You are going to work on... Hmm. Not yet. <laughs> I want to point a couple more out, okay? Just so that when you're working, you have a little bit of practice. Okay, I want to point something else out to you. Let's look over here at number eight. Do you see that one in the middle? 10 minus something equals two. So wait a minute. We have a minus problem with a missing number. Okay, what do we do? Okay, what do we do when we have a minus problem and there's a missing number? We can turn that. Can we turn that into a related minus problem? We can, right? As long as we know the big number. So let's use our paper. 10, what small number can we take away? Two equals, so here is, here's my number line, 10 minus two, one, two. What did I get? Eight. So what's our miss, what's the missing number? Eight. Let's go down here to number 14, because this is a tricky one too. 
something minus one equals six. Hey, it's a minus problem. <gasps> we're missing the first number in a minus problem. That means we're missing the biggest number. So what do we do when we know the, the two small numbers? How do we get the big number? What do we do to the two small numbers to get a big number? We add them. So we need to add one plus six to get our big number. So if you have six and you get one more, six, seven. So six plus one equals seven. So seven minus one equals six. That was our big number that was missing. Let's try a couple more of those tricky ones, those missing number ones, because you're pretty good at your own adding and adding and subtracting. It's the missing number ones that sometimes we get hung up on. So let's look at this one. Hey, missing number. And our equal sign is over here. So do you remember what we do? We cover that up. Eight plus something equals eight. Hmm, we know our biggest number, right? Because that we add these two together to get the biggest number. Hmm, so what do we do? We make a related minus problem. So we start with our biggest number, right? The answer, which is eight minus, what's the other number we have? Oh, wait a minute, eight minus eight. If you have eight and you lose all eight, what do you get? Zero. Eight minus eight is zero. So zero is our missing number. If we have eight plus zero, it equals eight. Our number stays the same, right? All right, let's look at the last missing number on this page. Nine equals something plus three. So let's just cover that up. Ooh, when we add, we had our two small numbers, right? And then we get our big number. So to find our missing number, we need a related minus problem. So start with our big number, take away our small number. So we have nine minus three. Let's use our number line for that. Nine, take three hops back. One, two, three. Where do we land? Six. Nine minus three is six. So our missing number is six. All right, boys and girls, you are going to be working on adding and subtracting. You're gonna be adding and subtracting. Um, hmm, let's go like, this. actually, I want you to work on all of these. You can do this. Go through each one. You're gonna add or subtract or you're finding your missing number. Okay, finding the missing number. And actually, you know what? We'll do this. You can cross off that last row. So you're just doing these three rows. Add and subtract, okay? We, we're finished with this page. Just work on this page right here. You're gonna pause, fill in your answers, and when you're done, hit play to check your work. All right, if you're hitting play, that means you are ready to check your work. So underneath this, you should have your answers filled in, right, for this page. All right, we're going to go one row at a time, and you're going to check your work. Okay, you should have 6, 9, 11, 9, 8, 10. If you made a mistake, pause. Okay, and look at your problem again to see how to fix it. Okay, here's the next row. Three, five, three, six, four, eight. If you made a mistake, pause and see how you need to fix it. Maybe you wanna try on your scrap paper, okay, turning your problem, because these were missing number ones. So you should be turning them into a different problem to help you solve, right? This one should have been 10 minus seven, right? This one, eight minus three to get your missing number. This one, 11 minus eight. This one, eight minus two. This one, 10 minus six and 
this one, nine, oh, 17 minus nine. Okay, we can make those related, those related minus problems for all of these because we knew the biggest number each time. All right, last row, 13, four, six, seven, eight, eight. So if you made a mistake, pause and see about fixing. Okay, these were just regular problems, but these ones you needed to make your related minus problem. You could make a related minus problem for all of these because you knew the biggest number. All right. All right, my first graders, we are going to skip the math on the spot problem at the bottom. I started writing in it, but it's not correct. We are going to skip that. If you'd like to watch the math on the spot video, you can. Okay, but I'm going to skip that for now. We're going to turn the page. We're going to take a look at the top. There are 14 rabbits. Then seven rabbits hop away. How many rabbits are there now? So I want you to think. If there's 14 rabbits, then seven hop away. Is, are we getting some or losing some? We're losing some. I want you to make the minus problem and solve. Hit pause. Hit play when you're ready. All right, that means you solved this. You ready? If you have an answer, then you're watching. If you don't, pause and do your work. 14 minus 7. So you should have written your nut problem down. 14 minus 7 because they hop away. And when you solve that, it equals 7. So our answer is 7. Make sure you are writing your problem down, okay? Let's try this one. There are 11 dogs at the park. Two dogs are gray. The rest are brown. How many dogs are brown? So let's go back through. There are 11 dogs at the park. Two of those dogs are gray. The rest are brown. Ooh, what kind of problem is that? Did we get more or are we comparing, finding the difference? We're finding the difference. It didn't tell us that we have two more dogs. It told us that two of those 11 dogs are gray. So we need to make a minus problem. Boys and girls, I want you to write your minus problem, get your answer, and then hit play. So pause, work on it. All right, if you're hitting play, you wrote your problem and have your answer. 11 minus 2 equals... Well, if you have 11, you take two hops back. 9. 11 minus 2 equals 9. So there are 9 brown dogs. Okay, two of the dogs are gray. The 9 are brown. All right, look at this one. Fill in the blanks. Write the addition fact. So boys and girls, we're actually going to skip that one for right now. We don't, we're going to skip that. And look down here. Marco has 13 marbles. Lucy has eight marbles. How many more marbles does Marco have than Lucy? So let's go back through. Marco has 13 marbles. Lucy has eight marbles. How many more marbles does Marco have than Lucy? Do we want to know how many they have all together? Are we adding them together or are we finding the difference? Are we subtracting? We're finding the difference. We're subtracting. We want to see, we're comparing them. So I want you to make your subtraction problem, find your answer, and hit play to check your work. Pause the video. All right, if you're hitting play, that means you wrote your problem and you have an answer. 13 minus eight, because we're comparing. If you have 13 minus eight, what did you get? Well, maybe use your number line, 13 minus eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you get five? All right, 
13 minus 8 equals 5. So there are five, he has five more marbles. All right, boys and girls, you're going to do a little bit more practice.